Okay, so I'm coming now towards King. Hello. Heading towards um, King and. I think it's gonna end up being King and Sumac. But I'm cutting through this little path, which is a little secret path. Chris is sitting. Right, so you press the sitting and you get the right of way. And then that's the east end. And this is, uh, we have a bus here. We do also have a streetcar here, right? And that's going west towards downtown Toronto, towards Yonge Street, main intersection a few blocks over. So what you're looking at is the next big light is um, Parliament Street. Uh, then Sherber, and then the next big one is, uh, you know, and then down there, you go up, that's the bridge going over to the Don River, which then takes you over to the um, east side of the city, and that's Riverdale. Right now we're in, we never know what you call this area. Not quite sure what you call it, but anyway, so here's a little strip that I discovered the other day. I was here late at night, it was a bit freaky. And I wasn't sure, I thought it was like a dead end. So I started walking through. Oh yeah, so I'm coming, I was coming from up there actually. So that's actually up there now is um, Regent Park. So you see our Regent Park fancy, pretty much they get rid of the old red brick, um, you know, a low income or subsidized housing. And they are building a mixed community of, you know, condos that are market rent as well as subsidized housing. Brilliant, you know, which is what Liberty Village should have done and didn't do, right? They just went for market rent bullshit. And so everybody just is boring as hell. Can I just say that out loud? Why don't people who want to live fabulously don't understand when everybody around you who's living fabulously, it's fucking boring as hell. Not that you want people around you to not live well, but really the option is, I love these little cottage type homes. The option would be you get mixed income community that's subsidized and we who have more or those who have more can put a bit more in to make sure those who have a little less can still have comfortable nice housing environment and also you know kind of engage with their families and everything together to get the experience of what all kinds of different potentials and possibilities and appreciations of the diversity of all of who we are economically but also you know i have this whole thing about the fact that this idea of progress and this idea of success and this idea of what it means to have a healthy community is not to have an only rich community. It's to have a community of all the different kinds of folks and all the different kinds of, you know, professions. Because I was talking to somebody and they were going on about, um, you know, just the value of, oh, being around professionals. I'm like, I'm already bored. <laughs> maybe that's just me. And maybe there are lots of people who love that. You know, they are constantly networking, networking, networking because their life is about making it and upward mobility and that you know fucking bores me because it's not my shtick unfortunately so to the um you know lament of my parents and some of my family and probably some of my friends and community and colleagues um yeah because there's nothing like having a diversity look at these homes right different kinds of homes that you'll see when you come through here even though down here i don't know maybe this is a little bit still skewed toward a certain kind of uh, demographic in terms of income and so on. Because, you know, in Toronto now, any little small house, private house, is millions of dollars. All right? Nothing ain't cheap. I always love these alleyways in Toronto. And so, okay, am I losing my point? My chatty blah, blah, blah self? Um, oh, yes, yeah, so a Regent Park. That's right. Let's go back. Regent Park. So Regent Park is lovely, kind of like St. Lawrence Market neighborhood, you know, considering the diversity of all kinds of folks. And so you just get this richness. I mean, there's nothing like walking through there now and just seeing the blend of all kinds of folks in the neighborhood. Um, you know, and here are the cottages again. Look how beautiful this is. So this is where I kind of got here that night and it was really dark. I mean, there's some street lights right there. It was really dark. And then I looked back and thought, oh, did I make the wrong decision? You know, um, 
Should I have a oh let my fling who am I a rock stone? I hope I don't pour like a squirrel them. Um and that is some oh, I think that's when you come off the um highway. Um you can come off the gardener up there, that's Richmond, I wanna say. Or is that Adelaide? Anyway, it's one of them. Some off ramp that offs you into the city. I think it may I think it's Richmond actually. I think. Um Yeah. So or it's the yes up there is Queen Street and then um, that is yeah it's the ramp that comes off and it becomes Richmond as it goes into from the east end into the city into downtown so then you come on so anyway so I saw this little thing and I wasn't sure it was gonna take me but then I saw these cottages and look at how cute they are you know one story one floor except unfortunately it does have a little step up so not completely accessible and look at how pretty it is. Hi. You know, and just lovely, these cottages. And then, so here, I came here, and I guess if you want to go have fun, as I said, it looks like a perfect cruising ground. And, you know, gay people know what I'm talking about. And the streets in the know. And so then I sort of went, I still was like, what's going on back here? And then there it is. But remember, it was dark. And I think that was that light on, but it still did kind of dark. And so, came through. It's like a back alley. And then, all right, so, so the alleyways. Looks like a dead end up there. And then look at the back of these houses. Love the shapes. Uniform shapes. Where's Abdi for some? Huh? Back of these houses. And I love how these are sort of cut off. Or this is kind of full. So you get the different shapes. And I guess the kids play at hockey back here. It's perfect, right? And this is where I came from. Love those plants. When I came down here, I'm still I wonder what got happened to me. And this is Bright Street. Right. Oh, so this is called Bright Street. So I think these are sort of like, you know, what I do back here sometimes, these are sometimes entrances at the back as opposed to, actually this would be because I don't think, I think the back of this is just the hill, is the is this, is this underneath the highway. So the highway there, or not the highway, but the um, off ramp comes over. So, you, you know, the bush. So this is actually the front of their homes, garage and your entry, right? While the rest are backyards for the others. Very interesting. I wonder what the traffic sound is like. I mean, it's not really, you're ever really that busy. And then you come here and what I loved was the option of you could walk through there. If you're going over to um, the West End. Black hand. What I liked was instead to continue here, right? And then you get these Homes. So I just continued here. See our entrance, but it entered us off. A lovely lean window. And then here we are. We're out on, I think this is Sackville. And Sackville is kind of a cool street. We're in Canada, yes. If you put up this, like people know, like we don't know where they Cute homes. Every time I come through here, it reminds me of being in Amsterdam when walking through side streets. Exactly how I think of this little hood. Partly because different times you've come down here, they've painted the houses in different colors, right? Yeah. And so then, here we go. And then now we are going to be on King Street, west, east, east, sorry. We're east of Yon. And the lake, I'm walking toward, people wonder if you're not from Toronto, where's the lake? We're walking towards the lake. And for the longest time when I first moved to Canada, that was what helped me understand where South was. People would always remind me, if the lake is, you know, South is oriented South by the lake is South. 
Um, right? So yeah, so I come from. And I guess all of this is Bright Street. I don't know what that is. Very mysterious. Cute. Is there a car? Something comes here. We can come down here. It's a black family getting out for the evening. Because black people live in these parts too and own homes and I live life. Okay, so let me finish my point about, if I haven't yet, about mixed income. So yeah, so Loving Regent Park, what they're doing, because it's like St. Lawrence Market, where you've got mixed income neighborhoods and communities where it's wonderful, right? Which is why when you also move into a city, the idea of having, and look at this, black folks in the city, right? Fabulously appointed, looking fabulous barking with their car, right? Ah, it's the church. Riverside Evangelical, Evangelical Missionary Church. So look at that. A community that I didn't realize was here. That's r brilliant. And so they have a pastor. Shall I tell about her church? Shall we know filming? And this I saw the other night. Oh, they came through as well. Lazy Sunday. Kind of bad. And then this place is kind of cool. It's oh, this is Gusto. Oh, I just realized that's Gusto. What's up? Why is it that night? And then they've got that beautiful. Upstairs bar. So this is the off ramp that comes down into Richmond. And then I more wanted your dog with his um, thing. Body Blitz, this is where um, the lady is. Space, Parkland. Look how pink that is. Victoria down. Oh, is that where that's where Tyrone is? Oh, she is. Chattel Jr. Coconut said, Don't drink out of public faucets. And I saw the person take his dog to drink out of the faucet, and I realized, Holy shit, he's right. And I'm seeing that person washing their clothes. Right? Or 
Park Town. And it's called Underpass Park. Right? There is when you get sort of matching gay men, but not in the same color. We're matching couples. Oh, kind of cool. of Toronto. See all the stuff that's in these neighborhoods. Oh, and this cute little street. Look at how cute this street is. It's called Old Corktown, Wilkins Avenue. folks oh. oh and look at this what's happening here is it gonna get interesting some kind of studio. It's kind of beautiful, eh? It's interesting. It's like a lot of studio or something. Oh, this is where I came once. It's now a um, salon, it looks like. Got it downstairs as well. It's Henrietta Lane drinks and then the customers. Down here used to be, well, I guess they moved it. That's the land where Tyrone used to be, and they moved it. I guess they built it up. Because certainly that building wasn't there, that gray building.
In always in that spaces. This is tandem coffee. And then you've got this situation. This lovely church. And then this. stylish. It's back there. Must be some kind of place that you can sit and eat. Is this where you pick up your order? Uh, when you make your order at the front, is this where you pick yes, it up? that's where you pick the ice cream, yeah. Oh, it's the ice, okay. It's ice cream. It's ice cream. Okay. If you have other stuff, you pick up at the front. Yeah. Great. Thank you. No worries. See, I love these back spaces. Those gals, they're not slacking. All right, healing center. I think I'm gonna stop, eh? I came over here to eat. And that's um, Parliament and King. Right? And this is where streets are for the distillery. It's through. Got what street this is. Oh, it's power. And that's Reina and power with the crown. Oh, careful. And then there we go. It's always good to end on black folks. My people. Unless they see me as their people. <laughs> <laughs> 